Because guess what? I'm 21 years old. I know, I still look 12 years old. I have that like reverse Benjamin Button thing. Welcome to Why So Curious, you guys. It's Mitch. Happy Friday. This is my last Friday before I go back to the semester. <laughs> Since I just had my 21st birthday this past week on Tuesday, the 5th, I want to talk to you guys about something that relates to that. Um, so, turning 21, you have to go through this rite of passage, get totally white girl wasted, and drink with your friends, go out, have a blast, probably not remember a single thing you did, or said, or experienced, and you become legal to drink alcohol. That's not the only thing that happens when you turn 21, but that is the cultural phenomenon that happens in our world. I've never been a drinker. I've just never felt the need to. There's many, many, many different reasons for people to drink. To drink. Um, and growing up in a small town, that pressure to drink uh, was definitely there. I had gone to drinking parties. I had had many opportunities to drink. A lot of the time, if you drank, you're part of the crowd. You're cool. I just always thought that was BS because I had a great group of friends that had not taken a sip of alcohol and I loved being around them. We didn't need it. Um, but at the same time, when we got to like graduation, I had other groups of friends that did and, and I hung out with them, but it wasn't, it was never something that led to a bad situation or made me feel uncomfortable. I was in control of myself. Um, I was in control of my decisions. I myself said no to drinking because I just didn't want to yet. Since I went off to college, almost every time I went home to see my parents, my dad would say, hey, you want a beer? And I would always give him the funny little response like, no, not yet, or something like that. And I decided for my 21st birthday, I would take him up on that offer and have a beer with my dad. And I did. I went home, I drank a little bit with my family. I didn't get drunk, I got a little buzzed though. Mitch was all giggly and la la la, but I wasn't like, extreme. I was not drunk. I was just a little buzzed. Some people might say that I didn't have my rite of passage experience or I didn't do it the right way. Um, I don't care. That's the way that I wanted to do it. And also, I really enjoyed my birthday. It was amazing. I had such a good time with my best friend and my family. Everybody was there. It was just fun. Um, and I have to tell you that once I drank, that pressure was gone, but also I just realized like what I had felt about drinking was right. I just, it's not my thing. Am I opposed to having a drink every now and then? No. Am I going to seek it myself? No. If someone invites me or something, like maybe, but I just, it's not my thing. Wah, wah. Why do I say no to drinking? I have a few reasons and there's multiple reasons, but like these are probably my biggest ones. I have a very outgoing personality and a lot of people use drinking to kind of get that initial buzz, loosen up and relax to have a good time. I don't need that. I'm very confident and I'm very open and friendly and I just like, I'm not uncomfortable in those sorts of situations. It's not the healthiest thing for you. It's number two. Um, it's just not, like, uh, I mean, in moderation, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. But in excess, it can be really harmful to your body, to your liver, to whatever. Number three would be, it's a huge waste of money. It costs a lot to drink, and it's an expense that you have to add into your daily life, and I don't need that. I'm a college student, I have to pay for college, I have to pay for gas, I have to pay for bills and rent and I just don't need that extra expense, but also I don't want to waste my money on alcohol. I don't want to spend my money on something I don't need when I do that already with like underwear and Netflix and stuff like that. So am I saying that I have any disrespect or any like judgment towards people who drink or drinking in general? No, no, there is nothing wrong with drinking. Absolutely nothing wrong with drinking, especially if you do it safely with people that care about you in safe environments and responsibly. Moderation y'all. And also, just be smart, be safe. That's the biggest thing about it. If you do that, I will not judge anybody for the amount they drink, for the way that they drink, and for whatever they drink. There's many ways that you can be responsible. Drink with people who care about you, not alone. If you're going to a club, make sure that you always have your drink with you so that no one puts anything in it. You never know what can happen. And also, if someone offers to buy you a drink, make sure you know what you're getting and make sure that you watch them make it. I think that's it. Leave comments below if you have anything to say about what my opinion is or if you have your own opinion yourself. Just leave it in the comments below. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more. And also, do not forget to subscribe. 
Thank you. Do not forget to subscribe to Why So Queries, you guys, if you guys want to see my beautiful face every Friday. I love you guys. Ah, and I will see you next week.